Yo, what is going on guys? Dr. Schwaz here. In today's video, we're going to be doing a Master Escape tutorial on Last Stand. We're going to be running um, Keegan, Lonnie, and Clayton for this. I want to give a shout out to Relax and Cody and Bad Wolf Lily for running this with me and all the other hives as well. Um, this one's pretty versatile. You can run whatever set of characters you like. Sometimes you pull a Lizzie in here. Um, Definitely a Keegan would help, of course, but uh, run whatever characters you'd like. Um, this one is pretty versatile, I think, in what you can run. Uh, Mutator is shown below. The one, two ones I want to note are Ultra Stopping Power, which can just be really annoying to deal with, and uh, Health Regen, so you want to make sure you want to shoot at the enemies to keep shooting at them uh, in order to get the kill. Alright. And as well, as always, uh, the card setups will be in the video comment section. Now, when we spawn here, there's going to be three guns that are on the ground. If you want to pick them up, there's a claw, a hand reverse, and an overkill. We're not going to pick them up. We're just going to run down here. Um, very long hallway. A very long hallway uh, running down here. There's going to be little central area here with a ton of weapons um, heavy weapons there's a salvo, a tri shot, a buzz kill, two level two weapon lockers frag grenades and incendiary grenades as Keegan what we're gonna do is I'm gonna grab what we're trying to do right now is find, find all the weapons without jumping down and triggering the enemies then we'll get the frag grenade and the salvo that's in the corner right here Gotta love the unintentional leap around. I'm gonna go to the right, which is an easier path than going left. I'm just trying to get this salvo over the wall. Struggling a little bit. Alani drops it for me. And basically what I'm gonna do here is we got some juvies um, and drones that I'm just gonna walk forward and just kill with the salvo as I move up. I'm gonna try to kick him, but I'm way too far away. Just gonna get rid of those chubies, drones, elite drones. Got a couple more in here. Um, if you're quick enough, and if the RNG is in your favor, sometimes there's a Moltres Scion that'll spawn right before that safe room up ahead. Luckily for us, that's not the case, but just letting y'all know that he does spawn sometimes. So, you gotta look out for the Moltres Scion. That's pretty much the first half. Um, yeah, not, not really much to say there. This this hive is unique. Um, basically, the enemies kind of spawn infinitely until you reach a certain point, like after you reach their spawning area. So once you pass a certain area, uh, they won't spawn anymore. All right, in the ammo room here, we've got two frags. Uh, two ammo crates and an incendiary grenade. Of course, this key, and I'm gonna grab the frags, of course. <laughs> Coming out of this safe room, we're gonna have basically like three little battles, uh, three encounters here. Um, first encounter here coming up, we're gonna pull um, up on the left. We're gonna have Jubies, drones, elite drones. Grenadiers and elite grenadiers, and a possibility of pulling a Moltres sign. We don't pull one here, but be on the lookout. Sometimes he can spawn. I run out of ammo here, so go back into the Venom to get use my ultimate to recharge the salvo rounds. Try to mark as much as I can because I got the recharge bounty, and that's also working in conjunction with the Venom boost card. So anytime I mark an enemy and kill my own enemy in the Venom, I get about. Uh, 52 seconds off my ultimate time, which is really nice. Full sour rounds. I got a few more elite drones. Got to deal with here before we move up. Just trying to mark as much as I can, just to help Lonnie out with her ultimate and play out with his. I mean, those clays doesn't take very long, but anything to make it come back faster is always nice, especially on master difficulty. Moving up a little bit here, uh, get crossed by elite drones. Uh, they have nukes, so you know I do go down. Play uses his ultimate. Um, gets those drones down. 
Also a good thing is he can use it. He's immune for those five seconds. He can come revive me instead of risking his life. Um, and, and then having two people down and then making it depend on just one. Which is really clutch right there. Right, that's that first room so far. The second room we're going to have um, basically the same enemies you they had before. I'll have some juvies. Um, some drones and elite drones. Um, grenadiers and elite grenadiers. And then we have a chance of pulling the monstrous eye on here, but I believe we don't. I'm in the third fight coming up, I believe we will pull one, so... Sooner or later we have to fight one, so... Right now I'm just trying to damage them, mark them as from far away to help my ultimate. Maybe I got again. Bonnie and Clary, they're just there for the assist. Uh, just to finish them off from the bleed. I'm gonna go down because I'm in the open right now. Play again, uses his ultimate, runs up to pick me up. Kind of a double function there. His ultimate reflects and bleeds the bullets back at them and then reviving me because he's immune for those couple of seconds, so that helps. The drone that comes behind us, so I quickly salvo kill him. A couple more drones up ahead. Uh, I'm gonna get a salvo shot on him and then finish it with the bleed. Alright, cut to the beginning of the third room. Lost some footage there, but basically this is the third fight here. Um, more juvies. I think more juvies than we had before in this section. Um, another Mulcher Scion that, that actually pops up here. Clay's going to use his ultimate, and since it's on Master, it doesn't take very long for that Mulcher Scion to kill himself, so... Play is down. I'm just gonna pick him up in a second. They can flank right from on the right side from that ladder area. If I want to shoot at them, sure. Heard of them. You see on that juvie how much my ultimate came back. I'll go down from elite drone. I'll use his ultimate. Uh, I'm just like in a panic just to get out of the way. And she's just killing everything up ahead with her shark chain and venom blade, so I just run past right to the door because why not? <laughs> she's just killing all the drums, GVs, grenadiers, whatever was there. Um, once you close the door, which we're about to do soon, actually I think it closes itself from the venom, they're gonna spawn not in this room I'm in, they're gonna spawn in the next room where Lani is to the right. So it's not the last room before the exit, it's the one before that. Uh, meaning from, from from where the door is, it's pretty far away. Uh, you can be pretty much contained. Uh, what we get when you pull the door closed, you get juvies. Um, you get another Mulcher Scion, which is the only Scion you pull if you go this way. Um, some burning gears as well. That is pretty much last stand for y'all. Definitely a great high for Keegan. Uh, per again, pretty versatile. You can bring a, a Lonnie and I mean a Lizzie in here. Um, even Cole would be useful for sure. Anyway, guys, uh, we got the cards set up and the stats coming up. And that's pretty much it for me. Thank y'all so much for watching. See ya.